This video provides an overview of the ExoCAD Smile Creator, which is now integrated with CS Imaging software. From the patient's CS Imaging chart, I'll right-click on a scan to open the dataset with ExoCAD. I'll begin by selecting the indications, and in this video, I'll show you how to do a mock-up with Pontix. Once the tooth has been selected, I'll choose Anatomic Pontic. ExoCAD software will allow us to create a model, print a model, and make an index key to make a provisional mock-up. I'll choose the material and then click OK. I can repeat the same indication by pressing Ctrl for one and Shift to select multiple teeth. In cases where I have only scanned one arch with no antagonist, I can also delete the antagonist. I'll click Proceed to CAD to access the Smile Creator software. The Smile Creator protocol requires two photos, one with the retractor and one with the patient's natural smile. I'll begin by selecting the photo of the patient with the retractor, and I will match the 2D photo with the 3D dataset. I'll adjust the 3D model so it's in the same position as the photo, and I'll use the scroll wheel to zoom in on both images. Next, I'll select two corresponding alignment points on the 3D image on the left and on the 2D image on the right. This will calibrate the two images so they can be aligned appropriately. Once both points are selected, I'll click Next to continue. Next, I can fine-tune the placement of the two images by holding down the left mouse button and clicking and dragging. This will move the image, allowing me to adjust the position. I can also change the scale of the images by clicking on one of the dots and then clicking and dragging to adjust the image. I can also right-click and drag to move the model as needed. The transparency can also be adjusted at any time during the fine-tuning process. When I'm finished, I'll click Next to continue. I'll be prompted to select the smile photo. Next, I'll be prompted to select two points on the patient's pupils. I can adjust the image by grabbing the control points as needed. The image can be scaled by dragging it out or in, and it can also be rotated using the rotation arrows. I can adjust the lip line and I can also access other golden ratios as needed. The convenient helper panel on the lower left allows me to access different proportion guides as needed. I can click the down arrow and select from a variety of guides available within ExoCAD Smile Creator software. I can add additional lines and curves as needed to ensure appropriate alignment of the images. I can left click and drag to adjust the lines and move them as needed. I can also rotate the lines by clicking and dragging a rotation point. When I'm finished, I'll click Next and then I'll select the tooth library. After I make my tooth selection, I'll click and drag the control points to resize the box. Once I've made my adjustments, I can click outside of the box to remove the box. If needed, I can click and drag to redraw a box around multiple teeth. I can use the rotation tools to move all of the teeth simultaneously, or I can click on an individual tooth to activate a single tooth. I can make the adjustment on the 2D image or the 3D image and both update simultaneously. I can also click and drag on the 3D model to create a box around multiple teeth and then click and drag to rotate the teeth simultaneously. ExoCAD Smile Creator allows you to move the teeth from any perspective. I can also click and drag inside the box to move all of the teeth. ExoCAD Smile Creator also provides a freeform wizard for advanced users. The freeform tool allows you to pull an entire tooth or just remove parts of a tooth as needed. This allows you to modify the teeth how you prefer, and you can select from a variety of presets while you make your tooth modifications. Once I'm satisfied with my changes, I'll click OK to continue. I can also measure individual teeth simply by clicking on them, and the measurements will be displayed on the selected tooth. The next step is to select the shade from the shade guide. ExoCAD Smile Creator includes several standard color presets, but it also offers you the opportunity to select a custom color. I'll use the eyedropper to select the tooth base color, 
And then once selected, I'll select the tooth highlight color eyedropper and then select the highlight color for the tooth. This is usually an area along the incisal edge. I can adjust the brightness as needed as well. I can also view the image using the Smile Design view, which is accessed from the lower right. From here, I can save a scene to send to a lab that has ExoCAD software. The lab could immediately open the file and could complete the plan and manufacture the restoration based on the design that you've provided. The custom views can be saved as dental CAD files, which can be sent to the lab. There are additional save options for patient communication, like the 3D PDF and the ExoCAD web viewer. This concludes the demo of ExoCAD Smile Creator, now integrated with CS Imaging software.